Shalom, shalom. So today, so in today's video, man, I'm gonna take you through some crucial steps if you're having AC problems. It's the peak of summer and your AC is not working. You hear it, you know, in the attic, it's on, but when you come outside, you don't see nothing happening. Let's talk about it. Man, all praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. You see, man, I got my uh, my AC unit, you know, had AC problems, and I'll tell you the troubleshooting that I did, okay? This is your thermostat on the wall is working perfectly fine. You know, it powers up, you got power, but no matter what you set the AC on, you know, you're not getting any cold air, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, okay, is your circuit breaker is not tripped. We're good there, okay? A simple test, where I live, man, we have power outages and power surges all the time, okay? If you look right down here, there is a little red button. You wanna push this red button. What this does is reset any kind of power uh, or circuit breaker problems or errors, you know, and it resets the circuit breaker. Push that, the compressor should kick on. This is your compressor right here. It should kick on if you push this and you got power going to the system, okay? If that does not work, if that in itself does not work, what you're gonna do, come to the circuit breaker, turn the AC, turn the, uh, tur flip the circuit breaker off. You wanna come to your quick disconnect, pull this out, okay? And that's just straight pull out. It only goes in one way. Right here, I have a, I'll show you, I have a single stage capacitor, okay? and a dual stage capacitor. And that dual stage, that dual stage capacitor pretty much has two screws or might have a, 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 a strap, a metal strap holding it in. But this one has two screws and you can see it lifts. Let me see where it's at. Yep, it's right there. So it lifts and this is the diagram right there. Once you pull those screws from the top and push it up, once you pull it up out of there, you know, take a picture, draw a schematic of how you got it going, the wires on both, and you get a voltmeter, set your voltmeter to 2000 ohms, and when you are on the, let's see, common, you wanna take the black and put it on the common terminal. Once you got all the wire disconnect, all of the doggone, uh, the capacitors out, this side right here is the common. You got the fan and then you got the uh, Herman side. All right, like I was saying, man, you're gonna take your black prong on your voltmeter. You're gonna put it to the common and then you are going to test the fan side and the uh, Herman side. When you go from black and red over here, your voltmeter should start at one spike up real quick and return to one. That lets you know that fan side is good. Then you put your red on the H side, black still connected to common, starts out at one, spikes up and returns to one, okay? Same thing on this one. This one has two poles. You're gonna test them both ways, red on one side, you know, uh, black on the other side should spike up, come back down and swap them. And if you do that and either one of these capacitors does not do what I said it would do for spiking up, you've got a bad or faulty capacitor. And what you have to do is you can go to like Ace Hardware and you can get a replacement and you'll be good to go. But um, most commonly you're gonna have either capacitor issues, you know, a circuit breaker issue or possibly your thermostat. But today I just wanted to show you something basic uh, let me show you what I use. So basically, if you see mine down here, this little reset button for the compressor, the high pressure uh, reset button, my button is kind of chewed up. So I took a flathead 
and stuck it in there and it kicked right on. And that'll reset it. Out here where I have a lot of uh, power outages and issues, you know, this is very common and it would have cost somebody coming out here, it would have cost a minimum of 200 bucks. But now we're good to go. Hope this helps you out. Stay encouraged.